That's my goal. Hard on the brakes. In. In. Watch out for the bench. We're good. We are more than halfway there. This is race number four of the AR-12 Racing Championship presented by Elgato Gaming. We have some more fabulous racers to attempt to go up for the crown of the fastest Forza Horizon 4 racer. There might be some names you recognize in this lobby. Some fan favorites are in this one. We've got our boy Liam T who you probably recognize from a couple of our live streams. We've also got some celebrities in the house. Grandma driving is here, keyboard and everything. He is gonna show you what you can do when you don't have a controller, and he is probably gonna be our fan favorite for today. Before we get too far into it, signups for race number five are gonna be open up now, so go and sign up if you wanna be a part in races like this and don't forget all the prizes that these guys can win in race number seven like the elgato 4k 60 the xbox one x signed by a bunch of the developers and a bunch of other awesome elgato gear you guys are probably wondering what we're racing today the races one through three have all been conventional races however i specifically said when we started this series up that's not going to be the case for this go around this is a time attack challenge you guys are gonna need to build your fastest car to set the fastest lap time possible consistency you can throw that out the window if you can bang in the fastest lap time you can you are going to get the dub today you might be wondering where we're racing at if you've been coming out to the live streams a little bit recently or been watching the videos you might remember a little racetrack that i built a couple of months ago now. Say hello to the Elgato race number four. Take a look at that circuit. This is not a 10 mile grueling circuit. This is a 1.1 mile circuit, which has been slightly tweaked from its original version. If you actually compare them back to back, there's actually a couple slight little differences to try to keep the racing a little bit better overall unless you screw up really really badly you shouldn't be running into any staircases slash windows we're gonna be coming down this straight hella hella hot turning in and onto the bridge if you run wide you will glitch into this bridge it has the opportunity to screw up your entire lap so just a warning do not hit that bridge. The cars for today is actually, again, a little bit different. This one is actually going to be the best budget street racer. I would have loved to have gone in and said, like, hey, we can only spend, like, 10 grand or 20 grand or 50 grand on our car. However, that's impossible to police. So what we're going to do is we are going to whip out some of our favorite retro cars. Our retro saloons. Retro sports cars, uh, where is it? Retro hot hatch and retro muscle. Those are going to give you the cars that we can use today. Feel free to use any of them that you want. However, we're going to be slowing it down once again. So much so that we're already going to be down into A class. So you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, this car is A797. Well, the class for today is a 777 twitch chat i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on you to decide my car for today okay we could go with our favorite dodge viper but the problem is we won't be able to get too many modifications on it that's the problem why is everybody saying take the nsx i don't think i want to do that i like something like this the mercedes 190e nathan keeps saying take the commodore i don't know nathan i kind of like your idea of the commodore though it has 260 horsepower it weighs 3,000 pounds. Nathan, I'm putting my trust in you. Nathan, if I lose today, I'm coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so nervous. The last race really, really didn't go our way. But the thing with this today is we could be, like, in last place. It doesn't matter. It's all about setting the fastest lap. We're going to need the big boy V8. Oh, my God. You could swap a V12 and still be B... I think we need to go V8 or V12, sorry. It might be, like, a super bad sin. But V12... V12 is going to be the way to go. Nathan's actually saying take the V8 because you'll need handling as well. Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ah. 
balls. <laughs> we swap one little tire upgrade and we go over the limit. Get the V12 out of there. Guys, I really hate my rims. Nathan's like, I'm nervous too. My whole AR12 position rides on you winning. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> How are, how are we right now? If I was to end it right now, we've got 420 horsepower, weigh 2,800 pounds. It's not terrible. I don't know what to do. I'm really scared I'm gonna lose and come last again. As with every race car though, we do need a sick paint job. I guess we gotta go Marlboro paint job. Marlboro seems like the number one paint job for this car. All right, all of Twitch chat is spamming F. I haven't even driven the car yet. This is not a good sign. Grandma driving in the same car as me. Okay, I feel a little bit better about my choice now. Or I guess Nathan's choice, well played. We've got an Audi RS4, one of my personal favorites. It's got a big wang on the rear, a big front splitter as well. That should be interesting. We got the BMW, the Honda Civic, a Subaru. And a Dodge Viper. These are actually some very, very solid cars, boys. And we got the ugly, ugly duckling of Lotuses in a Mario Kart paint job. Now, in the past, we've done 10-mile races. And this race is also going to be a 10-mile race. Because we're going to do 10 laps. Are you ready to go, boys? Good luck. It's not about who crosses the line first. It's who bangs in the fastest lap time. Everybody has made it in. Everybody's car is the correct class. It's time to put your money where your mouth is and hopefully pull in an Xbox One X and an Elgato 4K60 with that. It's all about the lap times. Here's the funny thing though. Nobody actually knows how well everybody else is gonna be doing. You don't get to see how fast anybody else's lap time is until the end of the race, which means Everybody's gonna need to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and a lot of people run the up oh, I hit the glitchy bridge the first laps from a dig anyways. You're never gonna set a super fast lap time Let's go. Oh grandma driving's got the horsepower In the in his Commodore damn son That thing's hella quick. I might have the speed through the corners, but that power is is not like, it's not comparable at all. Oh, he's totally rear-wheel drive as well. We are so stable in this thing. We'll see what everybody's best lap times are. My current best is a 45.5. There we go. That lap, low 42, 42.2. That was a pretty good one. But I know Grandma Driving actually set a much faster one than us there. We're actually in fifth place, which isn't bad, but... It's not about the place we're in right now, boys. Our boy Liam T, though, currently leading the pack away. I really gotta bang this corner, and that's my weak corner. If I can nail that a little bit smoother, I think I could drop into the 41s. It's all about the breaking points. I should also have been playing with ABS turned off, honestly. Chuck it in. Nice line through there. Very nice line through there. Carried a lot more speed through. Very, very nice. We're already on to our fourth lap, nearly halfway through. Let's go. I want to set a 41. I'm not going to shift up to sixth. Hard on the brakes early. Turn it in. A little bit off balance, but carried my speed through very nicely. Early on the brakes again. A little too early that time. Okay. Room for improvement. Improvement there. Grandma driving has passed Liam T for first position. My lap time goes in. It is a 40.9. That is a quick one. That is the downforce life there. That's what I'm talking about. Across the line with speed, early on the brakes. Turn it in, on the power again. Don't hit the ha- F. Unless you screw up really, really badly, you shouldn't be running into any staircases slash windows. Don't hit the ha- because it Grandma driving is running 38s, isn't he? I don't know. This man is gone. He's 10 seconds in front of me. That lap was a bit of a write-off. I'm gonna try to avoid the tree. Slash house. <laughs> Let's go. Only a couple more laps. Let's go into the 39s. That's my goal. Hard on the brakes. In. In. Watch out for the bench. We're good. Go. Go, Commodore! I'm trying to be so smooth. 
with the steering and everything. I'm not shifting up to six. Brake early. Turn in. There we go. There's the nice line. I hesitated a tiny bit, but that is okay. In again. Nice, nice, nice line. Come on. Can I beat a 40.9? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. 40.9, still my best. In. Two laps left to go. Oh, wow. We're lapping people. How is this happening? We're actually about to lap somebody. Okay, this is going to be my last lap. Come on, Commodore. All on the line right now. Come on. Last one. Go. Go. Wide line. In. Go. 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 Wide line. Break. In. Don't hit the bridge. Yes. There we go. They're across the line. Good. 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 I don't know how I got that checkpoint, but I did. Go. Go. This is going to be the fastest one. Straight line it. That's got to be my fastest lap. Let's see what they are. Who is going to take victory? Grandma driving with a 39.7. Liam T follows him up with a 40.1. I actually did pretty well. I had like the... Oh, whoa. There's actually a couple people all the way down at the bottom who were all the way in the 41.4s. Nick, Grandma wanted you to know he had a... He had 1,500 horsepower V12? Does that man know what grip is? That's ridiculous. I assume it's rear wheel drive. I assume it's on stock tires, just based on how much they're spinning. There is a rear wing and front splitter. There are some upgraded brakes, but even with all of that, I'm, I'm surprised. Race number seven for all those crazy Elgato prizes. Like I was saying, race number five sign up is going to be open now. Race number seven gonna be happening sometime in february so stay tuned for that it is gonna be so goddamn dope boys